What are seven free ways for you to promote your print on demand business? That is exactly what I want to cover in this video. People have asked me in the comments to talk about free ways to actually sell their t-shirts, their mugs, their socks, whatever they may be. And I'm going to tell you seven different ways. Now, before I get started, please consider hitting that subscribe button. You're going to absolutely love this video because they're going to be straight to the point. No faff. I'm just going to go into it. You're going to see it's quite a quick video. But if you haven't already subscribed, I ask you, please, please subscribe a lot of my viewers haven't actually subscribed. I think it's like 60 or 70% of my viewers aren't subscribed. I'm gonna make sure this is recording because I have a funny feeling it's not. It is, okay. Um, yeah, a whole bunch of my subscribers aren't, sorry, a whole bunch of my viewers aren't actually subscribed. So definitely hit that subscribe button and stay till the end of the video because I'm going to do, show you something really, really cool. I'm ha currently having an outside office being built and I'm gonna show you the stages that I'm up to. So stay till the end so you can actually see that. And let's get right into it. So way number one to promote your print on demand business for free is using Instagram, okay? Now, some of these ways require quite a bit of time, quite a bit of effort, and that's typically the case. The, diff the difference between paid and free is paid is instant, right? Instant gratification when you pay for something, like taking a course or anything. If you buy a course, you get all the information, you pay for it. If you've got to figure it out on your own and just do free things, it's going to take a lot longer. Same with print on demand, right? If you go for free methods, it's going to take a lot longer to build up and get the sales with from your audience. So you could do Instagram and Instagram is very simple. Instagram, just start a page that is a niche page for that product. So let's say you're going for a dog t-shirt or a dog pair of socks, right, with a pug on it, right? Start an Instagram for cute dogs pictures, right? And then literally just repurpose other people's content on yours. Eventually you can get people to send in pictures. You can use websites like Unsplash, but post five, six, seven photos every single day, okay? On Instagram, that's Instagram. Eventually, by the way, you'll put your link in your profile and every so often, every like 10th or 20th post, you can say you have this product, go and buy it. That's Instagram. The second one is Facebook, okay? Facebook is very similar to Instagram. You can have a Facebook page or a Facebook group, which is even better than a page now, right? So start a Facebook page slash Facebook group, again, in that niche and post to it maybe three or four times every single day. Again, this is all free. The next one is YouTube. Okay, YouTube is number three. Facebook was two, Instagram was one. YouTube is three, right? Number three is YouTube. And what do I mean by this? I mean like making these kind of videos, right? So you could make videos talking about the process of print on demand, talking about your product, talking about the quality, comparing it to other people, or you can just start a lifestyle channel or any sort of channel and just have that in the back end, like Logan Paul or uh, any of these pools or any pools, any of these YouTubers who have merch, you could just be a YouTuber with merch. And again, obviously that takes time. It can take years to build up an Instagram account, but it's best to start now, right? Rather than starting six months time, just get it started, get it going. You don't make money overnight. It doesn't exist, people, all right? It's, things take time. Things that are worth it will take time. So just get started on that like ASAP. Number four, okay, number four is interesting. Number four is blog posts, right? And blog posts on your website, on other people's websites like Quora or Medium. And there's a cool one you can do on Reddit. And you can use a website called, what did I write down? Buzz Sumo. You can use a website called Buzz Sumo to see what the hot topics are. And that way you can write blog posts that you know are going to do a bit better than just by like guessing, because now you can find blog posts that are already doing well, and then you can put a cool spin on it. And you can post blog posts as well on LinkedIn, okay? That's quite a few different places for blog posts. And blog posts are great if you put the right keywords in, because it's great for SEO. And if they link back to your T-shirt, or maybe they link back to your overall business, to your Instagram or whatever, but as long as they are all linking to something, and that one thing, maybe it's your website, goes to your product, then you should be fine. But again, it takes time. Number, what number am I up to? I'm number five, okay? Number five, the actual t-shirt website. So places like Amazon, if you're selling on Amazon, uh, or if you're selling on Teespring, or if you're selling on Redbubble, they all have marketplaces for their t-shirt, right? And what you can do is friends and family play a huge part in all of this. And friends and family is a bonus one because it's not any of the numbers, but you could link friends and family with <clears throat> all of these, right? And what do I mean by that is you want to build up your sales on Amazon to go up the rank. So get friends and family to buy. You want to build up your sales on Teespring to go up the Teespring rank. So get your friends and family to buy. And with Redbubble, it doesn't make so much of a difference. So you don't have to do that. 
But what you could do is you could launch a t-shirt, the same t-shirt on every single platform. It's so cold in this house. What, what, what's the temperature on? Ah, temp heating was off. I could feel like I'm outside. My hands are going all blue. Oh, anyway, so yeah, Teespring, Redbubble and Amazon. Get your, just one, do one design, post it to all three platforms. There are tons more platforms you can post it to, but start by posting it to those three platforms. And if you want me to do an in-depth video on those three platforms, then let me know. I can do like a versus or something. And then friends and family, get them to buy it on Amazon and Teespring, okay? And that will build up your rank, which will get you organic sales, which are the best kind of sales. And then number six, number six, Pinterest. Pinterest is really good. In fact, I know I say this is free, but you could do a paid one on Pinterest where people will create a pin for, create a post for you who have a lot of followers. And I'm going to actually talk about that in my video, seven paid ways to promote your print on demand business, which if you want to see, let me know in the comments down below, because regardless, I'm going to make that video because it's going to be a good video. But Pinterest is great. Start creating um, pictures, start creating what, pin boards, all these kind of things. That is a great way. Again, it takes time to build up, but eventually it does. And you can do pin uh, boards on different niches, like cats, dogs, whatever they may be. And then you could do products for each individual niche. All right, number seven. What have I written down? Number seven is Product Hunch. Okay, Product Hunch is a website where a lot of uh, everyone posts new games, projects, products, all these different things. So that is a great website to go and just when you create the design, post it onto there, see if it gets any traction. I saw an article from someone who said they got quite a few sales from Product Hunch. So definitely check that website out and go and post your new t-shirt or sock or, or mug, wherever it may be, post it to that website as well as it could bring in some free traffic for you. Likewise with Reddit, with Reddit, you don't want to be promoting links. Reddit, you want to lead to an article on your website. So for example, if you're in the dog niche, you could create a Reddit saying, there aren't enough dog rescue shelters in my area. Do you agree? And then it could lead to a whole bunch of people messaging, commenting, whatever. And then that could all lead to your website where you have a big blog post on dog shelters. And at the end of that blog post, you could have like support dogs. We give 10% of our, our money to the this shelter. And then hopefully they can buy your t-shirt and 10% of that goes to dog shelter if you want to do that. But I suggest doing that if you're saying you're going to do that because it's just ethically a, a, the right thing to do. But that could really promote sales as well. Just think of that. Think of what I just said, right? I'm going to just recap it because I've said it a bit fast. But you start Reddit, you create a Reddit about dog shelters, and then you lead them to your website where you have a blog post about dog shelters. And then in the bottom of that blog post, you promote your t-shirt and you say 10% goes towards dog shelters. That's a pretty good uh, funnel right there, right? That's a really good funnel. So those are the seven ways you can see. There was no faff, no fluff. Those are the seven ways you could promote your print on demand business for free and as i promised at the end of this video i said i would show you the outside and even though it is raining and it's horrible weather let's go and check out the office well lack of office all right let's check it out excuse the mess it's still a tip i haven't even properly gone and seen it oh it's raining it's pouring <clears throat> how cool is that that is my fully flat Service. I hope the rain isn't ruining it, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to be building up. I'm going to be building a structure right there. That is where my office slash studio is going to sit. It's quite big, isn't it? And that's where Lauren, my fiance, soon to be wife, will be doing her artwork. She does really cool artwork. Check it out. It's like this special kind of, of like, paint ink painting it's really cool so and she wants to get into that start a business doing that so i'm going to help her out and that is what she's going to be doing just in that section and i'll be working in that section so as promised i said i would do that i said i would tell, show you how the office is going i will give you updates on it but again it's not going to be starting the work's not going to be starting until probably april just because the weather is really crap and in terms of kitchen update yeah it's still pretty pretty standard it's taking me longer than i thought but anyway thank you so much for watching i will hopefully see you in tomorrow's video where i'll probably do the seven paid ways to promote your print on demand t-shirt business whatever it may be I, i'm not 100 sure that i'm going to be doing that video but we will see so come back tomorrow to want come back tomorrow if you are ah 
or should I, how should I end this? Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you in tomorrow's video. Come back for tomorrow's video if you want to see anything about print on demand because that probably will be about that. But you never know, I might do an Amazon video.